Hey folks, Corey Arnold here, Toyota it easily. Hey, got some exciting news. It's been a long time since we've been able to get out here, do a video on a vehicle. That's a Toyota Tundra four wheel drive crew max model that you can actually take home. Yes, I said it for probably about the last six months, every four wheel drive crew max that's come here has already been pre-sold. And I'll tell you why this one is available. Number one, it's a 2022 model that Toyota was using actually as a show car. It only has six miles on it, so it's still a brand new car. It's going to be titled to you for the first time. 2022 model, brand new. It is the TRD uh, 1794, excuse me. It's a 1794, not the TRD, I apologize. 1794 four wheel drive crew max here available on the lot for now in the army green color. Okay, so we're gonna run around this vehicle, kind of check it out and let you know all the things that kind of maybe separate this from a limited model. We'll kind of use a, or I should say, no, it would compare really to a platinum model and kind of what the differences are. All right, so number one, when you get to the wheel, all Crewmax Tundras above a limited model are going to be standard with an actual 20 inch alloy rim. This is a 20 inch rim here. Now, if this were a platinum model, this instead of, you see the uh, machined on the outside and then the gray inside. So what you're gonna have is, this wheel is gonna be painted a really, really dark, almost black, kind of a black gray, because it's about the sport model. But being the actual one here, it's all about the actual chrome. Notice the front of the vehicle. We got a lot more chrome on the front of this vehicle rather than all right, that model over there. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let you zoom your camera in. You see this uh, platinum model right here? Look how we, see how dark that nose of that is all around that grill? The only chrome is actually that Toyota symbol. Whereas here, we get all about the actual chrome. Chrome down front, chrome on the grill, because it again is the 1794 edition, okay? And then let's come on around the side. Okay, so we got a picture of the 1794 badge right there. Notice that that's in chrome. If this were a platinum model, that would actually be black right there. And look at the trim around the door edges right there. All right, so when you look over there on that truck, that's actually trimmed out in black. This is going to be trimmed out in chrome. Also, the door handles trimmed out actually in the chrome. 1794 is about that. Now here, we got two interiors that you can get. By the way, this is by far probably 95% of all the ones that come in have this. Now you can get a light cream in the actual 1794, but this is the one that everybody really wants. This is the saddle, okay? So saddle inside, it really ties in with this American walnut. Now, some of these pieces down on the front right here, I don't know if they're real wood, but that piece up there with the 1794 written on it in your camera view now, that's actually American Walnut actually on that side. So good looking vehicle that we've got there. All right, check that out here. Let's look in the back. This is a pretty truck. Even the floor mats. Look how the, the floor mats have actually kind of matched that interior there with that 1794 saddle interior. Now, this is a gas engine model. You can get a uh, 1794 in a hybrid or in a gas engine. This is the gas engine model. As a result, I'm gonna show you how deep this well is in the back back here. So this right here would be taken up by batteries if it were a hybrid, but that is a huge well in the back of that right there. I'm gonna let my uh, hand go down and just let you see. So look how far down, pass, pass there. See that all the way up to about right there, worth of actual space in there. That's a good, probably uh, 12 to about, maybe 12 to about 13 inches worth of space down in there. All right, just a ton of room right there. All right, come on around on the side. Now remember the neat feature, anytime you get to a limited and above, we've got that quick release. Imagine if you would, I had some cinder blocks in my hand. I wanna put them on the back of my truck. Take my elbow, push the button right there. It actually releases the tailgate. And then I'm actually able to set my cargo up on the side right there. Now, let me say this if I can. Um, some of these are coming from Southeast Toyota with spray and bed liners. That's up to you if you wanna do that. Really, all I would do though, I would just go buy a bed mat in the back back there. 120 bucks, you get a bed mat and it just keeps it from sliding around. You don't need a bed liner really because what a bed liner was for, anytime you actually hit metal and scratch the paint off, then you take away that what was keeping the rust actually off the vehicle. This is a composite bed. You don't have to worry about rust actually forming on this. It's reinforced underneath by actually aluminum but this bed is actually gonna look like this actually for a long, long time that we got there. So kind of a nice option, all right? Now, remember these trucks tow a max of 12,000 pounds. 
this one being a four wheel drive and this one being a crew max okay you've got to bring that down some so this is probably going to be closer down to probably around that 11 mark uh, because you've got to take the weight of the four-wheel drive system off and you got to take the extra weight of it actually having bigger wheels and tires and things like that so this is actually uh being a crew max this one is not going to be that max of that 12,000 pounds towing but it is ready to do it today. <coughs> these actually come with a brake controller inside uh oh and by the way kind of a <coughs> we'll show you that maybe when we kind of peek inside come on around for me if you would six cameras on this vehicle by the way something that is very very neat you'll notice two up top right there two in actually in the back where you got a camera here and then a light on this side it's really really neat because you just get more views actually around the car most of our cars have got uh just four cameras but this one is actually again got six different views actually now <coughs> let you see inside here oh don't forget that back window goes all the way down in any of the crew max tundras and man i love this shade here in the back right there i always forget to actually show this but it's really really neat in the back back there comes up and i like the way it's finished right there i had a car with that one time and it actually it lasted and held up a very very long time so that was a nice option right there and the panoramic sunroof is actually a nice addition and in the back back here you not only have heated seats but you've also got ventilated seats in the back back here nice nice option they got here I'm gonna tell you this I'm gonna uh, show you this pricing and this is a fantastic pricing that we've got here 64305 now plus there's a uh, a fee that you actually have to add in there but 64305 plus the actual uh 225 fee uh and that is for again brand new 2022 four by four crew max 1794 four wheel drive that's the key typically when a car gets here and it's not sold it's because it's a two wheel drive but this is the four wheel drive that actually made it for the lot that we got there Big 14 inch screen, actually standard inside this vehicle. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Uh, it's got all of the safety features, guys. This is a nice truck. Really, really a premium truck, probably. I think certainly the, the best and the nicest Tundra that Toyota has ever built. Now let's talk a little bit about an engine here. So we're going to let you get out of here. I'm going to pop that hood. By the way, for those of you who actually own a Toyota, I'm going to show you a trick, okay? Anytime you want to open the hood of your Toyota, go to the Toyota symbol and then just to the right. So symbol just to the right and then you'll actually find the release right there so symbol to the right release right there always that kind of works almost with everyone out there i love the fact that we've got the struts actually on this one as well all right so this is the 3.5 liter twin turbo uh v6 engine all right now we're developing here 479 pounds worth of low and foot torque. Now, for those of you who said, well, oh man, it's untested, whatever. This engine has been around Toyota. Uh, you know Toyota makes Lexus, okay? So the Lexus LS500 has got a version of this exact same engine, and that engine has been out since 2018. Now, this is a derivative of it, because, a derivative of it I should say. Uh, this one needs to develop a little bit more torque because it's actually a truck engine. So we actually tweaked it just a little bit. Uh, to let you know, the outgoing naturally aspirated V8 engine was only 401 pounds with the low end foot torque. This is 479. So we have got a lot more juice and a lot more power than that naturally aspirated V8 engine. And I'm gonna say this, when you want one quick off the line like this one is, a 10 speed automatic transmission where the gear shifts are nearly imperceptible, you need to come drive this truck today. And guess what? We, we've asked so many of you to order cars and we've not been able to let you drive it before. All right, well today you can actually do it. We actually have a pre-owned, are you ready for that? Pre-owned hybrid Tundra here for you to drive. And this truck here is the uh, six cylinder engine, the non-hybrid twin turbos. You can actually come and drive this car today and take this one home today. It is available. Guys, thanks so much. Uh, I'll let the cameraman get you some shots on the way out and uh, come see us here at Toyota Beach. Have a great day.